Hi, welcome to a short video to demonstrate provisioning groups within Enterprise Vault. As you can see here I've got my OU called Office Users and in this OU I've got a bunch of different users and a couple of them are VIP users that I want to give a different desktop policy and a different archiving policy. So if I look at my EV server what you'll see on here is at the moment they're all hit by the same provisioning group and they're all given the standard desktop policy and the standard archiving policy. I've already created two different policies called VIP Desktop and VIP Mailbox these are the two policies that I then want to give to these three special users. So back on over to the domain controller, what I want to do is to create a uh, group in Active Directory and add these three users to it. Now I can create this group anywhere I like, I can put it in the same OU, or in this case I've just put it at the top level of the domain. I called the group VIP users and in this group you'll see that I've already added my three test users that I want to make into VIPs. Back on over to the EV server what you can see then is uh, I've got my initial provisioning group here and I'm going to create a new one that I'm just going to call VIP users and in here I'm going to target a distribution group. There I pick my VIP users group click next, change the policy to be the VIP policy, set the rest of the settings for the provisioning group and then what I need to then do is I need to change the order of these groups because provisioning uh, works on matching the first group that it matches or the first target that matches. So I put VIP users first then I run the provisioning task and I give that a minute or so to run now if I look at the targets you can see here now that my three special users Adele, Carl and Dan they've all got the VIP policy now the next thing that needs to happen with these users is they need to be synchronized and then they truly will have that policy. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.